Uh, what I want to get into on this video today is what type of equipment should you use? So that's one of the questions I get asked the most. Rich, what do you think is the best? Is it free weight? Is it equipment? Is it uh, different types of machines? Uh, is it also what type of workout would you do a CrossFit? Do you do more of a bodybuilding, powerlifting, all these different things? Those are a ton of different questions I'd have to a uh, answer to on different videos. This one's basically I'm just going to get into it regarding equipment. Here's the thing regarding equipment is you have to find what works best for you, okay? I know a lot of times you talk to different people all the time, they're gonna give you different advice, which is wonderful. Take it all in, but for instance, when I was growing up, let me just go back to the uh, 70s, when I used to go to the gym originally in the YMCA in the mid 70s, uh, it was really just all dumbbells, free weights, and then there was some equipment, it was just ridiculous. I don't know if you've ever seen the equipment from the mid 70s, it's almost a joke. You watch some old television shows, it was basically like just wires and cables it was so it was stupid uh as time went on then i really think in the 80s it really kind of just went up a huge notch um uh, that's when kind of uh hammer strength started to come into play i carry in equipment as well uh and gyms started to spring up that were just much more advanced than just say local ymcas or just small gyms when i was growing up uh, my cousin on the south side of chicago his name was michael he was working out in the 70s and then he showed me a magazine it had arnold in there might have had Lou Ferrigno in there, I don't know, but it had one of my favorite bodybuilders, Franco Colombo. We were Italian, so obviously I really gravitated towards that. Um, and he was very, you know, obviously very strong. He was even much stronger than Arnold, even though they were partners. But genetically, obviously, you could tell there was a big difference between the two of them. But Franco did end up winning a, a Mr. Olympia, and we all know what Arnold did. But let's um, move forward from there. So my mother brought, right before my mother and father actually got divorced, she brought my father a weight set. It was kind of like, kind of getting more popular to kind of put a GM in the house in the 70s. I don't know if it was Joe Weir, but somebody was creating these in-house free weight gyms. It was just literally a bench with a straight bar and the weights were just like sand. Some even had water, which was ridiculous. So they got a divorce and then my mother and father, well, my mother moved into an apartment, but my dad was moving to Florida. So he gave me the weights. My mom was nervous. Because this is like what I was, I don't know, five, six, seven years old. And I used to sleep on that bench and I started lifting weights. Plus I go to the YMCA. And um, what I realized over the years as far as working out, what I truly think worked the best for me is mixing it all up. That's one thing and never sticking one with the same workout, continuously shocking my body and continuously using all different types of equipment and adapting with the times. Uh, I've been through many different gyms. Obviously, I talk about that all the time. I've been a member of Gold's, World's, uh, Powerhouse, Bally's, uh, tons. I, 24 Hour Fitness, LA Fitness. It goes on and on and on. Uh, local gyms we used to go to, Pumping Irons. And I always liked using all different types of equipment. But if I was to say what I think worked the best overall, for my results for what I got out of it is obviously I think dumbbells was one of the most amazing I think one of the reasons is obviously I love free weights uh, but the thing is you really can't cheat with dumbbells now I'm not saying you can't cheat moving your body if you're curling or any of these things what I'm saying is it brings an equal balance to whatever you're doing so if you are for instance are doing a straight bar chest uh, you can start leaning on one side of your body more than the other you could favor one part of your body more than the other to kind of get the results you want uh, as far as the lifting the weight, but does that necessarily mean it's bringing balance? So if I was to do dumbbell presses, dumbbell flies, dumbbell shoulder presses, all these things, it's equal. I have to keep balancing my body. And I always said your body is split in half. If you really look at your body, obviously you have chest, you have arms, your back, even your lats. So when you're doing dumbbells, to me, you are bringing uh, an equalness to working out. Now, I've always used straight, I still incorporate straight bar into everything. So I alternate between straight bar, dumbbell, and all these different things. And um, what I also think is amazing was cable. So I once uh, had to spend the summer with my dad when I was like 15 years old and the gym was too far. I didn't have a license, but he would drop me off at a hotel gym in Orlando, Florida, and everything was cable driven. Now this is the mid eighties again. I had some of the best results working out that summer. And I know I was younger too, and you're always gonna get results. But what I learned with cables is I can obviously come up as slow as I want. And I can go down as slow as I want. I'm all about holding, right? And I'm all about the negativity when working out. I'm not about the explosion all the time. 
I do do things fast sometimes for cardio, I'm not gonna say that. But if you are doing something and you wanna get some really good balance in your life, really work the cables into your working out. As far as equipment goes, hammer strength I still love. They've changed over the years, they're much more advanced, they have so many different types of equipment now to use. I definitely love using that equipment. And then you obviously have hoist. That's some new, that's not even new, but it's out, it's pretty cool. What do you got, Nautilus still out there. You have uh, so many, Equinox, it's another brand. Uh, I think they named it, they have a gym named after that as well. But I, there's equipment, what else? Um, actually, let me look over my, uh, there's hoist, actually, I'm looking over my, yeah, Life Fitness. There's all different things, there's some cables right there. Anyways, back to you have to find what works best for you. Also, if you've been injured, be very careful of what you choose to do, okay? A lot of people just, you know, they follow other people's workouts either through, you could go on Instagram, you could go on YouTube, you could go on magazines. You've got to take your time, especially if you've been injured, learn to, you know, obviously really, re, you know, recuperate and not hurt what you've damaged and also at the same time try to build strength and blood flow to that area as well. And again, I think cables would be the best for that. But again, overall, I think dumbbells, especially if you're beginning, start incorporating a lot of dumbbell workouts, uh, especially for chest, shoulders, by, I know it's a little harder to do, there's only so many movements you can do for back, traps, uh, and obviously I'm talking about upper body here. But yes, please, try to incorporate dumbbells. And what I do now more than anything is, and I've been doing it for many, many years, I'll do a straight bar. So if I go in and do chest, hypothetically, I'll do chest with a straight bar, say I do three sets, I do a warm up, two or three actually, uh, and then I'll go to a dumbbell. So I'll do maybe an incline fly then, and then I will go do a cable crossover, I'm just using that for an example. So I incorporate different things, or I'll do, say, a hammer strength incline, a flat fly dumbbell, and then I'll go do something else like a dip or push-ups. I'm always switching all these different types of things, but a lot of times I like to do some free weight, I like to do a little cable, I like to do a little equipment. Sometimes I'll do a two, 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 because um, I'm getting older now. I don't always do like a three, 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 or even a, in the old days, you used to do like 12, and then sometimes I'd only do five or six. And I'm gonna be getting into a workout that I do, another video called the, uh, I do all my upper body and I do a two, 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 set five, and then I warm up. So it's basically like a three, 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 three. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. I'm also gonna incorporate this new workout into your life. I don't know if you wanna do it or not. It's a straight month of arms, basically Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You do buys and tries if you wanna get about at least an inch onto your arms. And if you're already jacked up, I just do it and it just brings my strength to my arms and everything right to balance. But I only do that about once every year and a half because I once did this arm blaster workout. That was insane. Uh, where you basically eat for 24 hours and curl and do tries, which was literally insane. But that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, again, I'm going to get last time. I'm going to get into it. Figure out what works best for you. Study. Ask other people that all that do all different types of exercises. That includes powerlifting. If you could find a guy who does powerlifting, talk to him, man. If you got a guy who does CrossFit, talk to them. You got somebody who even does yoga or does uh, bicycling. Everybody kind of now incorporates some type of weightlifting into the workout. So definitely ask everybody, observe what you know they're talking about and also incorporate what you want. As far as results, you gotta be honest with yourself. If you do want to get jacked or you want to improve on certain areas, different types of equipment are gonna do that. Um, the one thing I do do with a lot of dumbbells is, especially I do a lot of standing. I don't use the backrest if I'm doing shoulder presses or I, even when I'm curling, I don't use a lot of things for leverage. Just uh, wrap it up there, so yeah. Um, try to incorporate many different things. Be open-minded, don't be afraid to try different things. Even if you've been working out for years, you get in a rut, try something new. If you're new, keep trying new shit. Don't get caught in the same shit. Don't get caught like you gotta walk into a gym and I know a lot of times trainers teach you certain things. Wonderful, absorb it, move on. Constantly be learning in the gym. There's hundreds of different ways you could do different exercises, right? You should never really get bored in a gym because there's so many different things to do. So I gotta go work out myself. So thanks for checking out my channel. If you get a chance, subscribe. I'm always gonna be posting different places I go to along with different things regarding fitness, fashion, hygiene. Um, I got a podcast out called The Rich Salinja Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I also have, we have a Facebook page. We have, uh, I got a LinkedIn, Twitter account as well. So if you want to connect through there, do that. And uh, if you're working out, kick it in the ass. Uh, if you want, you can check out my Mastering Self-Confidence program. That's a program to help men find the women of their dreams or women of their dreams. Check that out as well. And I'm going to wrap it up there. And if you're traveling, safe travels.